Hi guys, welcome back to Christian Corals. I thought I'd just give you a quick video on pH. And if you're having issues that your pH is between 7.6 and 7.8, then this is what you need to buy. This is a foreign Marin pH CO2 reactor. So this is the media. So as you can see right down the bottom, it's starting to go pink. And then you've got the airline all the way into my skimmer. And basically this will take the CO2 out of your tank and increase your pH. So before I had this uh, reactor, my pH used to stay between 7.6 to 7.8. And then once I added the reactor, overnight my pH started to climb. And now I've had this for probably eight months. My pH stays at 8.3. So as you can see, this is the company that I use it. This is off of the Amazon. This is uh, 35 quid for 3,500 mils. Uh, each container lasts roughly about six weeks of media will last so yeah I really do appreciate it and as you can see the skimmer is doing really well slightly a bit wet so I've just turned it down but I'll just show you what I used to use before I use when I turn over to the co2 scrubber just bear me one second as you can see this is what I used to use this is Kagwasa this is soda water, uh, soda line. This is the powder form. So what you do, you mix this up and add it to your ATO. But I found with the Kalkwasser powder, it used to be fantastic for my kerosene alkalinity, but it used to knacker my ATO up. So on the ATO paper there, it used to be clogged up with the um, Kalkwasser. So, and there's my sensor for my ATO. But yeah, so I took this offline. I still got like half a container of this. So if I ever do run out of the um, soda line crystals, then I will jump back onto the cat washer. But with the cat washer, you have to be extremely careful when dosing this. You need to go really slowly, because if you don't, you can actually crash your tank. So anyway guys, that's just a little video of how I keep my tank with a good pH of 8.3. Anyway guys, cheers, bye.